Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Man, I got a quick one I just want to give you to encourage you. I want to really give you something that's going to really hopefully give you something to realize where things are short at and what you got to do to put them back on the map. Man, man, I just want to give you give you some stuff now. And hopefully this is going to really give you something that you will have some energy and watch this some boldness and some wisdom and some tact to take your life to a whole nother level. This thing here, bless me, and I've been using it for a minute. That's why <laughs> I ain't got too many people getting in contact with me. I shut it down. And I'm telling you, I want to show you something that is going to enlighten you like crazy. This your boy, Hood, Pastor Full Impact Ministry. And I want you all to begin to follow my ministry page that I'm on right now. Full Impact Ministry. Go to my Facebook page, Full Impact Ministries, and begin to follow it. And and uh, hit the notifications so you can know when I come on live and I bring my messages. Because I said once before that my live uh, messages for my ministry would just be on, on this here uh, page. And then I start back putting them on my personal page. But this time it's for real. No more videos will be going on my personal page. They're all going to be on my ministry page where they belong. Full Impact Ministry. So if you want to get the live videos, go to my page that's on now that you're looking at. Full Impact Ministry. And this is for the replay watchers that will see. Go to Full Impact Ministries. And join in. Sign up for the page. Join the page so that you can begin to get the notifications of when I come on live. So I want to speak to you about let go so you can see. Let go so you can see. And I want to talk to you uh, about it's a little episode about Abraham and Lot. And I want to take you through it for a few minutes and I want to show you something as far as what's holding you back this look here, this is for somebody I know it I know it was for me some years ago thank God I thank you Jesus and I want to speak to you about Genesis chapter 13 and and let me give you the backdrop on this here over in Genesis 12, God had told Abraham, go to a place where I tell you. So Abraham began to leave, and he told him to come out from among them, come out from his family. But, but now Abraham took his nephew Lot with him. So Abraham, he began to get rich, very rich. And the Bible said that he was rich in cattle, silver, and gold. And by Lot being with him, Lot became rich with him as well. But now this is what happens when you bring people with you who you're not supposed to bring. They reap from your benefits. They reap from your wealth. They reap the benefits from you. But they don't have the hard posture that you have. So now they have strength to go against you. Boy, don't be giving folks knives to stab you in the back. So they went and they both became rich. So now here's, here's the backdrop of it. Abraham and Lot's herdsmen, the people who they hired, they began to fight each other over the land that was feeding the cattle because they both had so much to where there wasn't enough land to feed both of their cattle. Now you would think that by Lot getting rich through Abraham that he was somewhat bag up and say, hey man, look man, if it weren't for him, man, we wouldn't have this here. But no, he is just like many folks who are just in it for the money. 
don't care nothing about you. They're in it for the money. I don't care nothing about you. And many of y'all are connected to some people like that who are just, they are just around you just to leech off you. They are just around you to leech off you. And whether it be your wisdom, whether it be your money, whether it be your time, what, whatever it be, their hearts are not for you. They can care less about you. long as they can get what they can get out of you. And they want you to watch their kids. They want you to do this here for them. Do that. And every time they call you, they know that they can depend on you because you're going to be there for them. But they ain't never there for you. A lot of y'all know folks like that. You need to get away from them. Watch this. And once that happened, Abraham told Lot, let us not have any strife, man. You pick a side, and whatever side you pick, I'm going to go the opposite. This joke a lot looked out and saw the best side and picked that one. Because he's greedy, rotten, and low down. Care nothing about Abraham's herdsmen and their cattle getting fed. All he thinks about was self. Many of y'all are connected to some selfish folks. You need to get away from them. Because all they're going to do is eat up everything that you got. They're going to leech off you. Once they got theirs, all they think about is, is them. And they don't care if you come up or not. As long as they came up, they don't care. And they will not treat you the same as you treated them. Many of y'all know folks like that that you are connected to. And you need to get some boldness to get away from them. I'm trying to tell you, you want to let go so you can see. And this is what happened when Lot picked the best land and he left. Listen to what God told him. Because the other side, there was hardly anything for Abraham's cattle to eat off of. Listen to what God told him. And God is telling you the same thing. Because many of y'all are with some people who mean you no good. I'm trying to help you. Many of y'all are with some people in your life that mean you absolutely no good. And if you want your life to go to the next level... You're going, to have to get a, you're going to have to let go. Come on, preacher. Tell them the truth. I know it's hard on them right now, yeah, but it's good medicine so you can see. You're going to have to let go so you can see. You have to let them people go so you can see because they're holding you back. Many of you all are connected to some people who care nothing for you, and all you are doing is emptying yourself out to them. They care nothing for you. Nothing. Nothing. And if you don't let them go, you're going to continue to be in, this, in the predicament that you're in. Listen to what God told Abraham once Lot got away from him. Over in Genesis chapter 13, verse 14. And the Lord said to Abram, and the Lord is saying to you, after that Lot was separated from him, good God Almighty, Lift up now, lift your eyes up now, and look from the place where you are at, northward and southward, eastward and westward. For all the land which you see, to you will I give it, and to your seed forever. He said, now that you've got away from the bad baggage, now that you've gotten away from somebody I told you to leave back there in the first place because I know they're hard. Now that you've gotten away from somebody that I've been told you left because I know they're, I, I know they're rotten. I know they're selfish. Now that you've gotten away, come on preacher, now that you've gotten away from them, now you can see See the blessing that I have for you, boy. Now you can see the blessing that I have for you, girl. Now you can see. Open. Now your eyes are open. Because all while you were with them, you know, you had blinders on. You couldn't see nothing. Because all you was concerned about is their well-being. And they don't care nothing about your well-being. And now you can see. And all this here, this is what's waiting on you and your seed after you. 
see many of y'all uh, are actually connected to some people who are blocking not just your blessings, but generations to come. Your children, your children, children. He will not have to get away from them. And this is the only way that you are going to be able to look and see the blessing that's waiting on you. You're going to have to disconnect from folk who mean you no good. From folk who are rotten to the core. From folk who are really just using you, sucking you dry out of your spirit, your soul, everything. All they're doing is using you. You're going to have to disconnect from them folks so that the scales can fall off your eyes and God can tell you himself, manu na manu, man, now open your eyes and look. And he told him, look southward, eastward, westward, northward. Everywhere you can look, as far as your eyes can see, there's opportunity for you. Hey, thank you, Jesus. There's favor waiting on you. There's blessing waiting on you. As far as your eyes, wherever you turn to, there's blessing waiting on you. All I needed you to do, huh, come on, preach and be done with it, is disconnect. Watch this. Let go so you can see. I pray that bless you. I pray that gave you boldness. I pray that gave you boldness. So you can go face to face with that devil of selfishness. Face to face and say, I got to let you go. Come on. Uh, so I can see. So I can see my blessings. So I can see my favor. Ah, Jesus. So I can see my inheritance. Hey. So I can take my life to another level. And not just for me. But for generations to come. That's your boyhood. Pastor Full Impact Ministries. Let go. So you can see. I'm out. Peace.